Hello, my name is Anirudh. My name is Aditya. And, and we, we are, are on the software, software team for Team 13201 Hazmat. In the robot game for this season, FTC Powerplay, one of the components of the game is detecting an image on the signal cone and using that to determine where to, put, where to park at the end of autonomous. FTC gives teams an already functioning detection model, but you can earn more points if you can detect the correct parking position using a sleeve design that your team created. Many teams use April Tags to accomplish this. April Tags is an open source library that makes detection very easy. However, we think that there is value to exploring FTC ML. It gives you experience with real machine learning and is a very valuable learning experience. In this video, we are going to walk you through the process of using the FTC machine learning toolchain. You can find the steps on the FTC documentation for FTC ML toolchain, which we will cover in this video, and we will also share some tips that we got from our mentors and experience. In order to get started with this tool, you first have to create the images you want to detect and collect data by taking videos of these images. The key to designing your signal sleeve is having images that can very easily be differentiated from one another. We designed the signal sleeve with our team mascots since they have different shapes. We then changed the color of our mascots to purple, green, and yellow to make sure their colors were easily distinguishable as well. In our experience, smoother edges tend to work better than sharp corners. Make sure there is a clear boundary between the image and the background. We recommend leaving the background white and having a black border around the image to maximize the contrast. A good rule of thumb is to see if you can tell which image is which with a quick glance. The easier it is for you, the easier it will be to use for recognition. Using the same webcam that we use on the robot, we recorded a multitude of videos of our sleep using different lighting setups, different backgrounds, different lateral positions, and taking videos with each of these variations for the four different starting positions on the field. We recommend recording in a moderate frame rate and low to medium quality. Use the camera application that comes on our laptop and in the camera settings we set the video settings to 360p and 30 frames per second. Make sure to take plenty of videos. Once you've recorded all your videos, the first thing you want to do is upload all the videos that you want in your dataset. Then, wait for all the frames to be extracted to move on to the next step. Choose your video and click on the description to open the tracking page. Select an OpenCV algorithm to use for tracking, and we use Median Flow. Then label the image on the signal sleeve that you want to detect. We labeled ours based on the color of the image. Make sure that the labels are the same for all the videos and make sure to create an initial border around the image. Then click Start Tracking. When the border is no longer properly around the image, click the Stop button and adjust the border. Wait for the frames to finish labeling and repeat these steps for the rest of the videos. Once the algorithm finishes labeling the frames, go through the frames and ignore blurry ones as they will harm the quality of your model. You also want to ignore frames that are triplicated or quadruplicated since you want a wide variety of frames. After you're done uploading and labeling all the videos, create a data set with the videos. Set 80% of the frames for training and set aside 20% for evaluation. Then, select the data set and click Start Training. We recommend that you select a number of steps so that you will make 100 epochs. The equation for calculating the steps is steps equals epochs times training frames divided by batch size. The batch size will be 32. After the training is complete and all the steps have been completed, go to the Models tab and click on the model name. Look through all the details of your training. Check if the steps required and completed are the same. If so, go to the Images tab and look through your outline of each frame. Go to the Graphs tab and check the slope of the learning rate. The slope ideally should be an inverse power graph going from the top left to the bottom right of the graph with a curve. The more optimal the slope is, the better the gain or learning rate is going to be for each step. The FTC Wired software platform comes ready-made with a vision subsystem and a fully functioning autonomous mode. To use the model that you created with FTC ML, follow these steps. The first step to using your model for detection is adding the T-Flight model to your Assets folder. To do so, start by left-clicking the Assets folder in your project view. Then in the pop-up menu, select Open In and open the folder in your File Explorer. Copy your model from your downloads into this folder. Next you will have to update your vision subsystem class so that it references your new model. Do so by changing the TFOD model asset variable so that it re references your new model. Make sure to change the strings in the labels array so that it includes the labels that you have made. Now, you are ready to test your vision code. 
Congratulations! If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at our email, teamhazmat1321 at gmail.com or at team1321hazmat on Instagram.